Hello, what is going on everybody? My name is Imana from Digital Pencils and today we will be learning how to change the color of a car from this to this. Coming up. Alright guys, welcome back. So changing the color of this car is practically very simple and um, we are going to do two things today. After changing the car, so what if someone comes to you and tells you that he wants you to change um, just the color of the trees and the grasses but not the car. So after changing the color of the car, that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to change the color of the car first and then we're going to change the color of the grasses. Okay, so like I said, changing the color of the car is practically very simple. So first of all, you just have to make a selection of what you want to change. In this case, it's the car. If you're using um, like on um, CC 2019, Photoshop CC 2019 upwards, you'll probably have this selection up here. Where you just go to your select and you click on subject and the Photoshop algorithm will automatically select the subject of the image for you. In this case, which is the car. All right, so Photoshop just automatically selects the car for us. But if you do not have um, that select on your own Photoshop, maybe you're using an older version. All right, I'll just press Ctrl D to the select, and I'll use my quick selection tool over here, new selection, and I'll just select the car here. All right, just like that. Okay, so my selection, um, I just have to select this part, so, all right, that's cool. Um, I'm just gonna press V to drop my tool. So I've selected the car. I'm going to go to image adjustment, and I will just go to here on saturation. And it will automatically just do the trick for us. I'm going to bring out my eyedropper tool, and I'll click on the yellow. Since the yellow is what I basically want to change, I'll just click on the yellow here and I will just take this down and it will automatically change the color of the car for me. So I think I'm good with this green. Uh, is this green? Uh, I think I'm good with this color, so I'm just gonna leave this one. All right, so this is good for me. So um, like we said from the start, what if you just wanna change the color of the grasses and the trees? And you don't want to change the color of the car okay so i'm just going to press ctrl d again to drop my tool i'll press f12 to go back to my original image and um i'll go to select again and i'll go to subject just like we did before okay and the photoshop algorithm will still select the subject of the image for us in this case which is the car and i'll just go back to select and i'll click on inverse so what this inverse basically does is it takes the inverse of our selection okay what we selected before was the car and the inverse of the car of course we know it's the the background all right it's everything in the image but the car so i'll still go to here yeah, image adjustment and um i'll go to selective color this time and okay what selective color basically does selective color selective color yeah so what selective color basically does is um you can pick out colors from from the image and then you just play around with the colors so like over here in this image right here like in the grasses i can see that i have much of yellows so if i just go here and i click on yellow and i take this one down here so you see, it looks as if the trees are getting dried up, okay? So if I want to make them green, and I'll just bring them to the front like this. You see, the trees are getting greener than it was before. So that's just basically how you can change the color of trees and objects, not just cars, any other object. Um, but the idea is you still want to make them look original. You still want to keep um, the originality, yeah. So that is it for this tutorial guys, um, I think you've learned something today, 
so if you're cool with what we're playing today please like this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe if you don't like this video please subscribe yeah so um see you in the next video guys